It's my birthday. It's my birthday. It's my birthday. 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 It's my birthday. 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 It's my birthday. Oh, stop, 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 stop. Everybody calm down. Step back. Back, 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 back. Hey, back. How? Oh. Two meters, two meters. Back. Shut Continue. Beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. I'm Kapanish Mange and this is how I do things. The show where you send me your questions and I let you know how I would do things. Now you can take it as advice. Use it, don't use it, it is completely up to you. As you can tell, it is my birthday. That's why I have laid out all of my gifts. All of them, I've laid them out awkwardly and then found myself in an awkward position to sit in because that's what influencers do on their birthdays. They just pile up all the gift bags that they can find, put them around and then they sit there awkwardly and be like, birthday thank you so much so i'm just following suit don't judge me i i'm just doing what is the expectation of me all right <laughs> so it is my birthday um i'm turning 30 on this recording and um everybody thinks i'm supposed to reflect and feel different somehow but i'm just like i don't know what 30 feels like if it feels happy if it feels blessed if it feels humble then that is exactly how i feel spend the day taking pictures laughing smiling being overwhelmed having a lot of phone calls eating burgers with my husband and sitting and laughing with my daughter as well it's been it's been a really good day it's been a really good day and i'm really grateful and thankful for making it out of my 20s alive so i asked you guys to send me some questions on instagram about 30 questions for 2030 so this is a fun one and i thought why not let's just do a video 30 fun random questions make it quick make it fast and make it a gratitude video for all of you who have joined how i do things and subscribing to the gorgeous gang here on instagram and here on youtube and just thanking you guys for sticking around with little old moi now if you have any questions that you want to send to me and you have never sent me a question before head over to my instagram at kopana and look for this picture right here click on it or reply and let me know what question or scenario you want me to talk about in our next video and if it's juicy enough it's you know relationships money the good times with your man your friends yourself whatever it is then we will do a video about it next but for now let's get into those 30 questions for 30. okay so i asked you guys to send me questions on instagram and i'm just going to answer them at random if i'm not really comfortable about it i'm just going to skip it so let's just jump straight into this one and hopefully i get to 30. let's do this one lesson that stood out for you in your last five years to 30. The biggest lesson I definitely learned for myself is that it's, it's my fault that I'm broke. It's no one else's fault. It's not my parents' fault. It's not my circumstances' fault. It's not my fault that I got fired. It's not my fault. Nothing. If I am broke, it is my fault. If something has gone wrong, it is my fault. At some point, I made a decision that has led me to that point and I can't blame anybody else for it. So I took full accountability for whatever position I'm in. Even if somebody has wronged me, I'm just like, I didn't see that coming. My fault, my bad, my, oh, my bad. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. What keeps you going in times of despair? God um, and gratitude. There is so much that God has done for me and I'm so blessed. If you just, yo, my testimony, if I was just to tell you where God found me, where Jesus was just like yanked me out of just utter dirt, then you would just know that, you know what, God fixed me up and I cannot go back to where I was. Always looking back and saying, yay, I've come so much further than where I was before. So even if I'm not happy right now, it's, it's definitely better than I was before. How to cope with unpleasant emotions. Again, gratitude. I think always going back to the manual of life, the Bible, and going back to that and reassessing the place that I am in. I'm, I've become even bigger on journaling and journaling has really helped me to really process the things that I am going through. And I feel as though, okay, if I'm not in a good place, journal it out, read the Bible, worship, praise, listen to gospel music, things that I know will uplift me and remind myself of the person that God created me to be and work through those emotions. I'm not going to deny them. I'm not going to throw them in a corner. Work through it and then... Number four, best piece of advice I've ever received 
has to be oh my gosh goodness i've received so many if if uh, 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 there's so many running through my head just one just one just one best piece of advice i've ever received well i've, I've heard something very recently my father-in-law said that when he started a new path in his life completely new path, path in his life he was 40 and then that, that's when we i realized i was like it's never too late to start anything never i mean he started when he was 40 but when i think about other people you know who started their lives late billionaires who have started their lives late started their businesses late late I realize that I'm very young. I'm still very young. I've got time, but that doesn't mean I should take my time, but it does mean that I have the time to switch things up, make things happen for myself. Biggest lesson at 26. Where was I at 26? 26, my business was starting to fail. So 25, my business was doing well. I had replaced my salary. I even doubled my salary by the end of that year. But 26, things started to take a nosedive. And 26 was the year that I knew that I had to invest in mentorship and invest in people who would teach me how to do my job. You know, you don't know everything. You need to get some help. So that's the biggest lesson of 26 is get some mentorship, get some help. There's definitely somebody who knows more than you and could help you get out of the place that you're in. Question number six, the one meal that I wouldn't mind having all month. Weird thing, we eat oats every single morning. Every morning without fail, we eat oats. If we're gonna switch it up, it's maybe I don't even know we haven't actually switched it up in a long time and i'm very content with having that it's such a weird thing but um rolled oats so organic rolled oats um with some banana some apple a spoon of pure peanut butter not that other stuff that has sugar and vegetable oil nah, just pure grinded peanuts um as well as what else do i put i put almond powder in it that's that's my that's and seeds and breakfast seeds so it's got pumpkin seeds sesame seed all of that good seeds that is actually my breakfast i could have it we've been having it for uh, years number seven what is it like being married to the most awesome guy ever he really is awesome my husband is really an awesome individual um he's he's brilliant minded and i'm really blessed to be married to a guy like that i don't know how god chose this guy for me because clearly i did not find him you know did he was presented to me on a silver platter he literally walked into the room and he was like oh and i was like yes you number eight i'm gonna lose count how does a dent how can a dentist who wants to open their own practice without savings get funding the bank well you need to look at the different ways that you're actually going to be opening your practice there are ways that you can actually partner with someone who is overwhelmed and that is such a good way because then you inherit their clients so if you're looking for a place that you can start your own practice maybe look at um, being there to take up for somebody who's getting out of the business or somebody who may have an extra room so don't always go looking for your own space and to build your own thing start small start somewhere where you can basically get subsidized by someone else um, and look at the costs that are involved if it is a very high cost where you are keep looking keep doing your research to find a practice space where you are with other doctors as well other dentists as well and if you are in a network where you can feed off each other so network with your other dentists Try and network outside of your race, outside of your, your normal people that you are with and try and learn from those people because within your community, there are answers for that. Um, I always think that there's always a way to go around funding. Funding is not the only way that you need to go when you need to start anything. So look into your network, ask as many questions as you can in your network and keep asking. There will be some people who will keep their cards close to their, to, to their chest because I don't know why. But that's how people are because they think maybe you're going to steal their clients or whatever it is but continue to network be around people of your own and you will find a solution next i've lost count in the last decade um what lesson are you taking to the next 10 that everything can be fixed everything i don't i'm, I'm starting to think that there's there's always a way there's always a way there might not be a way right now but there will be a way in the future if it is meant for me. Everything is fixable, everything is doable. There's always a way around the situation that you are in. You just have to find the solution. The solution pre-exists the problem and you have to find it. And that's what I'm taking into the next decade, honestly. What makes my heart sing? Oh, my family. I think I'm very blessed with my family and I think every single time I pinch myself, I'm just like, yo. Ha la 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 la, ta na 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 na. Do, 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 do. Right, this person has asked so many questions i'm moving on to the next one next again because i've lost count if you could only speak one word for a day what would you say one word like it could it be a sentence please 
yeah i think that if you can keep saying please like please 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 you know i just asked you to please subscribe and please like <laughs> next how uh have you ever dated your crush in the past i'm married to him <laughs> Okay, next question again because I forgot the number. How does it feel and how do you want to celebrate? I celebrated it exactly the way I wanted to. If anything, I wish that it would have been quiet. It wasn't a quiet day, but I'm very blessed that it wasn't a quiet day because I've, you know, my friends and my family and a lot of phone calls and a lot of appreciation from a lot of people. I'm very overwhelmed with the happiness and the gratitude that comes from other people and from people in my life and I'm just reminded of purpose my purpose in my life today so I, I wish the day was longer so that I could redo the whole day just only between me my daughter and my husband only I think I'm on question number 10 um if I'm not here's the number <laughs> how was your experience as Miss S18 life-changing I was a very I was horribly shy as a child I spoke a lot in front of my family but around other people I had a lot of internal conversations and I always wished that my life would go differently to what actually happened because I was so scared to speak up for myself but when I become became Miss S18 some of that came into that and I I wish that maybe I would have been more outspoken but it changed my life completely put me around people I would have never been around in my life I learned from so many people that's why I fell in love with social media and TV and radio and communication and media as a whole I mean your life changes like that they put the crown on your head and then boom you your life has completely changed so it literally was the pivoting point in my life that thrusted me to where I am today I had to learn those lessons a lot of what happened you know 10 years after that was because of that crowning I um, answered this one before I think I'm on number 12 I'm not sure let's see um, what's on your mind a sloppy joe which is basically like a sloppy burger like a burger that is just oozing and cake I haven't had my birthday cake yet and who see you guys it's late it's late at night but that's genuinely food food ask me any time of the day most probably I'm thinking about food okay next question um, you said your relationship started with a brick being thrown who threw it my husband threw the brick Gish. that's how a brick hits a person it just it gets thrown neck gets thrown like a pole vault. like what is this shot put ne? and then it lands here and it goes Gish. that's how a brick gets thrown <laughs> we share a birthday Peño happy birthday I hope that you absolutely enjoyed your birthday may God bless you with many moments with prosperity happiness and the fulfillment of the purpose that he has put you on this earth for the abundance of life may you receive it all oh and God's grace and love and joy and mercies be abound to you daily next question i think i'm on number 14 i'm not sure let me know how many i'm getting right or wrong here um how do you maintain and make sure you don't lose your man it's not only my job it is my job to make sure that i maintain and this is a conversation i've had with many of my aunts and my mom as well is that you always have to be proud of yourself you know in terms of letting go why would you let go what is happening what is causing you to let go so i'm always be proud of who you are when you wake up every single day and be your best version of yourself if he's gonna leave you as when you are your best version then then it's not really your fault it takes two to stay in a relationship but you always have to make sure that you wake up and you choose to love your man every day it's a choice it's a doing word and every day you wake up and you say i choose to love this man how am i gonna love him today and always making sure that you are your best beyond that it's it's a two-way thing what is the craziest thing you've ever done I don't know I don't I don't think I've done the craziest things no I'm starting to think I've been boy very boring no how did you and your husband meet um he hired me actually he didn't hire me his marketing team hired me to do their social media their digital marketing for a suit company that he owned um it was three years in business it was 2015 and i had just started my marketing business and they found me and then they brought me in to have a meeting with the team and he wasn't part of the meeting but he barged into the office like the man that he is and he was just like yo what's going on and then that's when i saw him and i was just like ha la la and he was also like ta la and then 
the rest is history. Hey beautiful people, I think I need to explain because I'm in a completely different outfit and clearly the studio looks quite different. I started to record the first half of this video on my birthday and it was getting a little late and baby was getting a little hysterical because <laughs> she was doing her bath time so I decided you know what let me stop recording and go be mommy and come back and do this later so my hair has changed the flowers are dead and one of my balloons the number three in the 30 has completely deflated and died but we're still here and I really love the footage from the beginning so let's just continue with the same vibe and I'll continue to answer your questions I think I'm at question number 20 if I am wrong then you guys get an extra question but let's just pick up at 20 okay so question number 20 um in the middle of being mommy and wifey how much time do you give to yourself so first of all I don't necessarily believe in balance because when we think of balance we think i need to give three hours to being a mom three hours to being a wife and three hours to being a baby when you try and balance things out that way then you're going to drive yourself crazy because it can't just practically work out that way however i do believe in balance in that you get what you need in each area of your life right so it may take six hours to be a mom every single day if you want to quantify from the actions that i do then it takes about three hours for me to do my work for what club she is as well as my social media work and then a whole lot of other time for cooking and for preparing meals and all of those other things that have to do with being wifey but then I still find time for myself so my time is quite structured that I wake up at half past six between half past six and half past eight I'm doing work for club she is and for my influencer work and then I'm being mommy and wifey in between that baby wakes up I feed her, I cook, I do all of those things in the house, do laundry, all of those things. She sleeps for a good three hours in the morning. So that space of time, I'm either working or I'm spending time for myself, to myself, because Papaisi is also working at his time. So I get to spend my time the way I want to spend it. Then half, after half past eight, it's, you know, me and my husband just cuddling and being together. And then I get some me time as well, where I take my nice one hour long bath or my shower. And I'm just spending time with myself. I'm reading a book. I'm listening to an audio book. So I find my spaces of time throughout the day in different ways. Or I'll take a full day to do what I want. Number 21. <laughs> How can one know their worth? Now, I actually have an exercise that I gave to women to actually find out how they know their worth. But first of all, you were created as a masterpiece that no, has never been replicated, that was made by the greatest creator of all times, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. You were created by God himself, who holds the whole universe in his hands. So your worth is, you cannot even measure it. So start there. There's no way else that you can start but there. By knowing that God created me, I am a master masterpiece, I'm wonderfully and fearfully made. That is where your worth is. You are more valuable than gold, platinum, silver, whatever, diamond. There's nothing in this world that you can find that is more valuable than you. You start there, find your confidence in that. And that the maker, the creator, lives in you. So you have the utmost value in the world. You start there. Then beyond that, if it still doesn't sink into your head, there's, there's questions that you ask yourself about your specific experiences and the things that you have. But honestly, you start there. You are wonderfully and fearfully made. Your worth is beyond measure. Do not ever doubt that ever. No matter what anybody says to you to say that, oh, but you grew up in the slums or, oh, but you haven't passed your degree or you, haven't, you didn't get distinctions in matric. People can try and find things to devalue you, but it doesn't matter because God created you specifically the way that you are. You are exactly where you need to be and who you need to be right now. So there's absolutely nothing that anybody can say to devalue you. Number 23, number 20, 21, 22, <laughs> number 22, how to be happy single. Look, when you are single, you have time to work on yourself. All right. You look at yourself and you think that, okay, am I the best version of who I can be? Am I glorifying God in everything that I'm doing every day? And if not, you take that time to work on yourself because here's the thing. When you get into a relationship, you're actually taking time to work with someone else, right? And when you are single, you can be as selfish as you want to be. Eat all the chocolate in the world. Spend all the time to finish Netflix. Do whatever it is that you want to do. Explore yourself. 
and you'll find that you are such an interesting person and that you have so much to give that you'll want as much of that single time as possible and when you meet the next person you'll be at your best self in that moment and you're going to meet a person who is also on a journey of becoming their best self and glorifying God and what they're doing that you move on that journey together because it just makes strategic sense for you guys to be together okay number 23 how would you advise a young girl who's still studying but also wants to start a side hustle do it do it now do it so no you don't actually have to start a side business you can actually have any source source of side income so if you can work for somebody else if you're seeing people that have businesses that you really love but they are overwhelmed they're not answering their questions on social media etc etc offer your services to those people because answering questions on social media doing their adverts and helping them to earn extra income can be something that they can do to give you income so if you see that somebody is working really hard, even influencers, even speakers, even people who own businesses, offer your services and it may not be something that is paid really well at first, but if you're going to help somebody to earn extra income, then they will pay you. So you are then able to help them be more efficient and make more income through managing their socials, through doing work for them, being their assistant, fulfilling orders for them. That's how you can then start to get employment in other places. So offer your services to as many people as you can and don't just send DMs and be like, hey, I wanna work for you. Build a proper case, send a proper email and let them know where you're willing to start and the specifics of what you want to do for them and then move on from there. Let's do this. Are you ready for 30? I'm so ready for 30. I'm so ready to thrive. Oh, 30 and thriving. I'm telling you, I'm so ready for 30. I'm within 30 and it's just going to be an amazing decade. I can't, I'm excited. I'm excited for what's about to happen because my 20s were literally building blocks of different colors and variations and sizes that have helped to get me to where I am in terms of the knowledge and the experiences that I have. So I'm get ready, man. I'm ready. Number 24. Have you ever made a first move on a guy? Yes, I have. I married him. I think I answered that one. Let's answer another one. What did 30 look like to your 15 year old you? 30 to me looked shining. Shining. Oh, when I was younger, from the age of like six or seven, I used to picture myself as a 27 year old, 27, 30 year old. And I'd be there in my two piece suit and my nice peplum jacket. I was just in tailored outfits all the time. And I imagined myself with a briefcase. Listen, when I was younger, my parents used to carry briefcases. Like those, you know, those leather briefcases, the ones with the numbers that go and they open. <laughs> so I used to picture myself with that suit and that briefcase walking down the stairs of an office in Santon. It wasn't a corporate park, but I knew that I'd always work for myself. And then I would be filthy stinking rich, just wealthy, just having the means and giving back to people and having a huge heart. So that's how I pictured myself as a person who would help other people, would make a lot of money from it, was very comfortable, but was very nice and open. That's how I pictured 30 to be. 25. Um, you make Christianity look real and fashionable. Thank you. It should be. It should really be. And number 20, it wasn't a question. I was just saying thank you. Um, number 26. Do you have a skincare regimen? I really do have a skincare regimen. I take it very seriously. Funny thing is recently I started using hyaluronic acid and it actually made me break out. But I'm trying to fill my skincare regimen with things that I really love. But at the moment I'm still using Nemu and I'm really loving it. I'm loving the, the toner, which is more like an essence. Oh, I love it. I'm loving the, the SPF that I'm using. I am loving the, the exfoliator that I'm using. And I'm still trying to build the things that I love as in the serum. I'm also trying to add more other things into it to complete it. And I'm gonna do a video about how many steps can you actually take, the full steps. You know, you can take more than seven steps in the skincare routine. So I want to show you guys all of the steps of what does it mean to build a skincare regimen and and routine and what do you need and what don't you actually need so let me know if you want to see that in the comments down below but my skincare I take it very seriously and especially now I was supposed to start with anti-aging things at 25 but I didn't I'm only starting now at 30 um, but I do take internal care of myself so my skincare regimen is not just about the external but there's a lot of internal like my beauty shake that I take that has collagen in it so those are the things that are important okay number 26 
six i think i'm still losing count on which platforms can i find your book so i am writing a book um which is going to be about what we talk about here and how i do things and i think i'm going to call it how we do things i don't know i'll ask you guys you guys let me know what you think the title of my book is going to be about but when it is on sale it's going to be a physical copy book so paperback book which you'll be able to find i hope everywhere it's still at the beginning stages i haven't written the book yet and i am in the process of doing so and i want to write the book with you guys so the topics that are going to be in the book is going to be about relationships about money about sex and about self right our relationship with our god and with ourselves so that is what the book is going to be about so send me your guys's questions so i know what to add into the book and what you guys want to see why doesn't your husband feature in my videos so he doesn't feature because we always do vlogs together so he doesn't like sit down things you know we're not all the same so i'm very happy and open to talking into the face of a camera but with other people they need to be active so he's always in my vlogs and hopefully when the world opens up again we'll be doing more vlogs but if you see any of my vlogs he's always there and he's always super open and the final question what am i looking forward to in the next year in the next year i would really love to see how i do things getting to a hundred thousand subscribers um i'd really like to get two plaques for youtube so my hundred thousand and two hundred and fifty that is like my extra goal i always have like two levels of goals but i really hope that releasing my book of how we do things as well as this channel i really want to see it growing to levels that are just unbelievable i wanted to blow my mind but the thing i'm expecting for myself is to release a video every single day for the next 365 days so this is me asking for your prayers and asking for your good fortunes and your well wishes to say that let's make it to a full 365 days of videos not skipping not even one that is my goal to get the discipline and to get the routine down and just to get the consistency down that's what i want so i'm praying about it I'm praying for you guys i pray for everybody who watches my videos so you can learn and you can grow and you can become better and you can just enjoy life and that you may be blessed so thank you so much for watching my videos thank you for supporting thank you for getting me to 50,000 subscribers that's crazy and thank you for growing this channel so thank you to you guys Thank you for all the birthday wishes and thank you for watching this video. I know this one was a bit lengthy, but I hope that you guys enjoyed it. So that's it for 30 questions for 30. I don't know what happened with the numbers. <laughs> we will see what happens. But anyway, thank you so much for watching gorgeous people. And we're going to be doing a date night challenge tomorrow. So I'll see you guys then. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe on my videos and on my channel. Until next time, beautiful people. I'm Kapana Shimange and this is How I Do Things. Hey gorgeous, thank you so much for watching my video and thank you so much for subscribing. Head over to my website, gopanishmangi.com and join the gorgeous gang so you can get some free resources that I have created just for you. Until next time, thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm out. Mwah.